More fallout tonight from the New York City corruption scandal. The city council decision to stop funding a prominent Jewish museum sets off a chain reaction, a resignation from the board, and an NYPD review of its relationship. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer with new information. From the outside, things look calm at the Simon Wiesenthal Center on East 42nd Street. But the center is in turmoil because of its connections to the city corruption scandal and by a city council decision CBS2 first told you about yesterday to cut off funds to teach tolerance and sensitivity to cops and correction officers and expected $500,000 in the coming fiscal year. Our story has generated a number of developments. First, the center is severing its ties to Murray Huberfeld, indicted last week with correction officers president Norman Seabrook in what appears to be the first of the corruption indictments. Mr. Huberfeld has notified the Simon Wiesenthal Center of its intention to resign from the board, said a spokesman, adding that the center is also conducting its own investigation of its ties to Huberfeld and Jonah Recknitz, a cooperating witness in the case against Huberfeld and Seabrook, to determine if any further action is appropriate. But the council tells CBS2 those steps are not enough for it to restore funding. Given some of the news about some of the uh, things that have gone on, uh, the council decided that this year uh, it wouldn't be prudent to fund the Simon Wiesenthal Center. We also tried to get the NYPD to explain how it will replace the Wiesenthal training programs, but a spokesman referred us to comments made last week by Deputy Commissioner for Legal Matters, Lawrence Byrne. Um, we're reviewing the program as we review all of our training programs on an annual basis. I also asked Mayor de Blasio if he thought the council was right to cut off funds to the center given its ties to the corruption scandal. I don't critique how they make choices about their spending. De Blasio's reticence may have something to do with the fact that Jonah Recknitz has reportedly been questioned by the feds about the mayor's fundraising. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Now, late today, the NYPD said it has adequate training in place even without the Wiesenthal programs. In the past two years, the center has received $655,000 from the city council. A spokesman said the center has received city grants for years, quote, long before Jonah Recknitz had any connection with the museum.